Hello, I am Cassandra Gomer, and today we will be investigating the IQ Tree 2 software package. First off, what is IQ Tree 2? It is an open source, fast, and effective algorithm to infer phylogenetic trees by maximum likelihood. The purpose of this software is to give the user an accurate phylogenetic tree model that is best catered to their input data. The most recent version is represented by the two. IQ Tree 2 expanded its model bank and improved the efficiency of the computational approaches from the first version. It has many applications in the field of biology, dealing with questions surrounding the tree of life, and is a component to many biomedical research platforms. Next up is the motivation for IQ Tree 2 development. Next generation sequencing techniques have caused a massive surge in the amount of genomic data. Although more data provides more information to aid in resolving more and deeper phylogenetic questions, it causes major computational challenges to analyze such big data all at once, which most current phylogenetic software cannot handle. The motivation behind further developing IQ Tree 2 was the need to develop more complex models to adequately handle this surge of data. The goals of IQ Tree 2 are accuracy, speed, flexibility, and versatility, which we will explore more of later. The name IQ Tree comes from its combination of two other software packages. The first is Important Quartet Puzzling and Nearest Neighbor Interchange, which constructs phylogenetic trees based on sequence data, but it is no longer maintained because it has been superseded by IQ Tree 2. And the second, Tree Puzzle also conducts maximum likelihood analyses, but there are limitations to its versatility and capabilities. IQ Tree 2 strategically incorporates both of these tools and has become their more capable successor, hence the combination of their names IQ and Tree. Although the two major contributors to the development of IQ Tree 2 were the two I mentioned, some parts of the code for IQ Tree 2 were taken from packages and libraries listed under the additional credits heading here. To conduct phylogenetic analysis, IQ Tree 2 implements three key steps. The first is fast model selection via Model Finder. Model Finder is a fast model selection method that greatly improves the accuracy of phylogenetic estimates. Model selection can be chosen by the user, or IQ Tree 2 can determine the best fit model for you. There is a large selection of models that are listed here. Common models utilize rate heterogeneity for DNA, protein, codon, binary, and morphological data. Partition models aim to accommodate variations in substitution patterns among sites. Mixture models capture the variety of evolutionary processes that may be occurring across long sequences. And polymorphism-aware models account for incomplete lineage sorting to infer trees from genome-wide population data. The difference between the models are a bit confusing and hard to distinguish, so unless you're very familiar with model types, it is best to let Model Finder pick the best model according to your input data. The second step is an effective tree search algorithm. We will be investigating this further in the demo. And last is ultrafast bootstrap. IQ Tree 2 has a novel ultrafast bootstrap approximation. It assesses branch supports of the inferred phylogenetic tree, meaning it indicates confidence that the branches are representative of your data. Compared to standard bootstrap, it reduces computing time and achieves more unbiased branch supports at the cost of mild model misspecifications. In addition to ultrafast bootstrap, IQ Tree 2 can also conduct Shimadaira Hasegawa approximate likelihood ratio tests. These two tests are faster alternatives to likelihood based measures of branch supports while still maintaining high levels of accuracy. There are two other popular and commonly used programs for phylogenetic analysis based on maximum likelihood. The first is Randomized Accelerated Maximum Likelihood. This program is for phylogenetic analysis of large datasets. Similar to IQ Tree, it strives for a fast maximum likelihood tree search algorithm that returns trees with good likelihood scores. The second is Phylogenetic Maximum Likelihood, 
which is a phylogeny software also based on the maximum likelihood principle. It is a simple software that gives fair accuracy and speed. There are still some cases in which improvements need to be made to handle big data and a bigger variety of alignment types. IQ Tree outperforms both of these programs in terms of likelihood while requiring similar or less amount of computing time. We will further investigate the benefits of IQ Tree 2 over these other two tools later in the performance section of the presentation. The input for IQ Tree 2 is a multiple sequence alignment. A multiple sequence alignment is simply multiple biological sequences of similar length that can be compared and studied to infer similarity and homology. IQ Tree 2 will reconstruct an evolutionary tree that is best explained by the input data. If you have raw or unaligned sequences, you need to run an alignment program to align the sequences before uploading your input file. IQ Tree 2 supports DNA, protein, codon, binary, and morphological alignments. Acceptable formats of multiple sequence alignments are listed here. The first cell of the image shows a multiple sequence alignment in the phylop format. The second cell shows the FASTA format, which you should all be familiar with from our class content. Either format is acceptable. IQ Tree 2 user manual provides a file of example data, which I will use to demonstrate input, running, and output of IQ Tree 2. This file, example.fi, contains a multiple sequence alignment in the phylop format, as you can see here. This file contains 17 organisms in which this software will organize into a phylogenetic tree for us. We will refer to this file for the demo. As a side note, although IQ Tree 2 has a command line version that is run in a terminal, such as on Monsoon, there is also an easy to use web server if that is more convenient for you. All you have to do is upload your alignment and select the options that apply to what you are looking for, and you will be emailed when your results are ready. Although the web server is easy to use and convenient, the command line version is favorable because there are limitations to the web server's available options. Through Jupyter Notebook on Monsoon, we can easily import the plugin and use it. All you have to do is upload your multiple sequence alignment and enter a terminal. For the demo, our file is the example.fi file. I have a few folders on my Jupyter Notebook, so this bit is just to get into the right directory to access the file. Once I am here, all I have to do is type IQ tree to import IQ tree 2 into the terminal. As you can see, it provides several command line examples that you can execute with IQ tree 2. IQ tree 2 has many capabilities, so I don't have time to go through all of them but the main draw to this software is this first command. Here we will run the first example and infer a maximum likelihood tree from our sequence alignment. IQ Tree 2 is programmed to auto-detect the sequence type and the best fitting substitution model, so the user doesn't have to worry about that unless they have a specific model they want to manually request. Now I will run the command by pressing Command Enter. It takes a little while to run the command, but since our file is relatively small, the run time is quite quick. The run has finished, so I will navigate back to my folder where it automatically uploads our output from IQ Tree 2. As you can see, there are many output files after running the function but the inferred phylogenetic tree is the main focus here. This file, example.phi.iqtree, is the main report file. It is self-readable, meaning you don't have to use any other programs to interpret it, and shows a textual representation of the final phylogenetic tree. When you run the command, your output files will have the same tags at the end, but instead of example.fi at the beginning, it will be your personalized input file name. These other files contain coded interpretations and logs of the entire run. This file, example.fi.ckp.gz, is a checkpoint file, which you can refer to if your run somehow got interrupted. Interruptions can occur with very large data sets that take longer than the provided time limit. We will navigate into the IQ tree file to
to review our inferred phylogenetic tree model. The reference header here shows how to cite IQ tree 2. The sequence alignment header shows information on your input. The model finder shows the program's reasoning behind the best fit model, which isn't really self-readable. The substitution process shows statistics of the run. And finally, the phylogenetic tree. If you have studied phylogenetics in any way, this tree seems to align with common principles of evolution. Lungfish belong to a clade, reptiles and birds are in a clade, and mammals are also grouped together in a sister clade to the reptiles and birds. This makes sense because lungfish are the most ancient species of the organisms within our example file. Another thing to note is that the tree is unrooted, which is indicated here. This means the tree doesn't show a common ancestor for all the organisms from the file. The tree represents relations between the organisms, but doesn't indicate common ancestry. IQ tree 2 produces an unrooted tree because it only knows what it's been provided with so it doesn't know the biological background of the sequences. The best it can do is pick the first occurring sequence in the input file. The latest version enables the reconstruction of rooted trees, but it isn't available in most packages because of the numerical and computational expanse. Here is a quick visualization of the output. The image to the left shows the output files, and the image to the right shows the inferred phylogenetic tree contained within the .iq tree file. As I mentioned before, the goals of IQ tree 2 are accuracy, speed, flexibility, and versatility. The side notes indicate the primary focus within each of these goals. The newest version of IQ tree strived to not only outperform the previous version, but also other popular phylogenetic software. When testing this tool, it was compared to similar software in regards to each of their goals. The two software that were referred to most were RaxML and PhiML, the two pre-existing software that were mentioned earlier. For model selection, IQtree2 utilizes Model Finder, which is 10 to 100 times faster than the other leading model selection tools. For the search algorithm, IQtree2 compares favorably to RaxML and PhiML in terms of likelihood while requiring similar or less amounts of computing time. IQtree2's ultra-fast bootstrap is 10 to 40 times faster than RaxML's rapid bootstrap and obtains less biased support values. It also implements a larger variety and more efficient branch tests compared to popular software. IQtree2 is capable of supporting huge datasets by implementing checkpointing and memory mode. It also is able to speed up analysis on big data by using multi-core computers and a parallel system. IQtree2 focuses on new computational methods that perform better than any previously existing approaches. It uses high-performance computing platforms to allow for fast analysis on huge datasets. It includes new phylogenomic models that can support input of a variety of sequence types, and it implements a broad range of commonly used maximum likelihood analyses. Its superior performance makes it the ideal software package in comparison to existing approaches. IQtree2 is a major contributor to biological research. It is incorporated into many of today's popular platforms, such as the ones I listed here. Here I list the development team of IQtree2. Thank you for following along with my presentation. Now the floor is open for any questions.